Male violence against women is still widespread in Europe. Almost one in three women have experienced physical or sexual violence at least once in their lifetime. The lack of economic independence is a major challenge for women willing to leave their abusive partner. To ensure the socio-economic empowerment of women recovering from violence and the response to their specific and intersectional needs, all relevant stakeholders must cooperate on a regular basis. The EU-funded project We Go 3 developed the Policy Lab Path, an open methodology to co-design policy proposals and practices to support the economic empowerment of women recovering from violence. A policy lab path can be either a physical or virtual space. The methodology is deeply rooted in feminist values and adopts an intersectional approach. The discussion involves actors with different mandates, but common values are at the core of the policy lab path. A policy lab path strengthens alliances, creates or solidifies a local multi-agency network and ensures collective action for change. It empowers participants by equipping them with different tools and concepts to enable joint reflections and analysis. It shifts power by influencing decision-makers to address the structural causes of gender-based violence so as to ensure women's rights. This is how a policy lab path works. Step 1. Choose the focus and the purpose of the policy lab path to address specific needs of women survivors and related policy gaps. Step 2. Select and invite all relevant stakeholders to ensure different expertise and viewpoints. Step 3. Prior to the meetings, make sure all participants are on the same page. Send them a concept note, the discussion questions, and useful materials. Step 4. Convene the meeting in an easily accessible physical or virtual space. Set realistic goals and smoothly facilitate the discussion as an opportunity to exchange views openly and safely. In this process, anti-violence centers are crucial as they give voice to women's needs and concerns and share their knowledge. Step 5. Collect all insights and proposals and co-develop a policy or practical measure to address the identified women's needs. Then, test it through a trial. Step 6. Write a white paper to present the solutions stemming from the policy lab path and the trial to improve policies and practices. Engage policymakers and all relevant stakeholders to turn a collective effort into a transformative action for women recovering from violence. The policy lab path is an open methodology. Adapt it and test it in your country to advance together the right of women to live free from violence. For more information, visit wegoproject.eu.